I'm Ron Fernese, Operations Manager here at South San Francisco Scavenger Company and Blue Line Transfer. Uh, also Operations Manager of the Blue Line Biogenic CNG facility, which you see behind us here. We've been in business since 1914. We service the cities of South San Francisco, Millbrae, Brisbane, and the San Francisco International Airport. Our customer base is about 25,000 customers, about 22,000 residential, 3,000 or so commercial customers. So California has always been an innovator and a leader in, in uh, green technology, and with AB32, the Global Warming Solutions Act of 2006, they mandated that we needed to reduce our greenhouse gas production in the state here. And each city has their own greenhouse gas reduction plan, and as a partner company, we had to be innovative in helping them meet their greenhouse gas reduction standards, which led to us looking for innovative technologies that would allow us to partner with our cities to, to promote green, sustainable alternatives to landfill. California disposes about 30 million tons a year, and it's, it's estimated that about 40% of that is organic, and putting that in a landfill is not the best use for that material. It creates a great deal of greenhouse gas, and we needed to find something where we could harness the energy in those organics. Due to our urban location, open composting was out of the question. We're surrounded by the, the largest biotech company in the, in the world. We could have never sighted a compost facility here. Um, in about 2011, we approached Zero Waste Energy. They were, they were promoting a proprietary dry fermentation anaerobic digestion system. And they had a pilot project in Marina, California that was actually using organics to produce methane that they were using down there to power a, a generator. The technology that ZWE had, Zero Waste Energy had, was such that we could use the organics that we were collecting from our service areas, anaerobically digest them with their proprietary dry fermentation system, and harvest that gas and produce transportation fuel. In late 2011, we met with ZWE to talk about their technology, and at that time, we decided to move forward with it. We applied for a California Energy Commission grant that was available. Um, we were ultimately awarded a $2.5 million grant. Finally, in late 2013, we broke ground. The digesters arrived on site, I think, in May of 2014, and we started operations in January of 2015. We found that our, our organics fraction of our waste stream here in our service area was about 11,000 tons a year. This is a completely closed loop system. Our collection trucks go out in the morning, collect organic waste. They come back here in the afternoon. They offload their waste. Once the material is offloaded, we load 80 tons into a digester. At that time, the computer system takes over. There's three phases. That lasts about 21 days, and during that period of time, the digester is continually producing gas. That methane is sent through our biomethane cleanup system over to our fueling station. Those trucks are fueled with the fuel produced from the organics that they hauled to our site. The facility was proposed to fuel about eight to 10 trucks a day. Currently, we're fueling approximately 12 to 15 trucks a day. It's such a sustainable system that the California Air Resources Board recognizes this fuel as being 25 times carbon negative, which is an immense benefit to the environment. Considering that we're in an urban environment surrounded by biotech, which is a very clean industry, sanitary industry, one of the byproducts of the anaerobic digestion process is ammonia. We elected to install two in-vessel composting tunnels. What those composting tunnels do is they introduce fresh air into the digestate that comes out of the anaerobic digestion vessel, and the ammonia is directed out of the facility into a acid scrubber biofilter. We've been in continuous operation 24-7 since January 15th of 2015, and we have had zero odor complaints. Zero Waste Energy stepped up to the plate to produce a system that uses all of the gas we produce on site the end result of all these pieces of machinery working together resulted in a facility that meets our expectations. We provide a transportation fuel, we're sustainable, we're in the green environment, and as you can see behind me, this is a testament to what could be done in an urban environment and still stay clean and green.